JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for February the 26th. I am Haral Ambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, our main topic today will be once again the coronavirus with uh, the equity bloodbath uh, uh, continuing uh, on yesterday as well. Um, we will also talk again about the slide in the US dollar on uh, increasing bets that uh, the Fed may need to cut interest rates uh, twice this year. And uh, as for today, the only uh, noteworthy releases we have on the agenda are the US new home sales and the Energy Information Administration weekly report on crude oil inventories. Now, as for tonight, during the Asian morning uh, Thursday, we get uh, New Zealand's trade balance and the nation's A and Z business confidence index, both for January. As always, let's start with the performance of the greenback against the other uh, major currencies. The dollar continued trading lower against most of the other G10s on Tuesday and during the Asian morning Wednesday. It lost ground against the pound, the yen, the Swiss franc, the euro and the Canadian dollar in that order, while it gained only versus the Aussie, the Kiwi and NOC. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against the Swedish krona. This time the performance in the FX world gives us a better taste over the broader market sentiment, suggesting that investors continued abandoning risky assets in favor of the safe havens. Indeed, major EU indices extended their Monday slides with most of them recording losses of around uh, 2%. The equity freefall accelerated during the US session with the S&P 500 and Dow Jones losing more than 3% in their fourth consecutive red day. Nasdaq declined 2.77%. Uh, the negative investor morale rolled over into the Asian session today as well with Japan's Nikkei and China's Shanghai Composite in Indices sliding 0.79% and uh, 0.83% respectively. Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell nearly 1% while South Korea's uh, KOSPI gave buggies Tuesday gains falling 1.20%. It seems that uh, fears over a fast spreading of the coronavirus outside uh, China kept growing with South Korea reporting that the number of cases surged to 1,146. In Italy, 12 people lost their lives, while 270 are confirmed to be infected. Austria reported two positive cases, while Croatia had also its first infection. On top of that, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warned yesterday that citizens should be prepared for a spread in the US, adding to fears that uh, the virus will, will evolve into a global pandemic. To make things worse, a US official said uh, that it will take at least 12 to 18 months for a corona coronavirus vaccine to be developed. While in Japan, there have been reports regarding the possibility of cancelling the Tokyo Olympics planned to start in July. Now, all these developments add further credence to our view that the effects of the virus may not prove as temporary as many initially believed and that the economic wounds could well drag into the second quarter. 
with the spreading outside China appearing to be out of control at the moment and with the world's largest economy signaling that it is not immune to the, to the virus, we believe that there is still room for equities to keep sliding and safe havens to attract uh, flows. Even the yen, which last week tumbled on concerns that the Japanese economy is headed towards a recession, wore, wore its safe haven suit again, staying among the top G10 performers for a second consecutive day. Now, as far as the dollar is concerned, it continued trading on the, de on the defensive side, perhaps due to fears that the US will prove to be no exemption and that it will also feel the burden of the coronavirus' effects. This is also evident by the US Treasury yields, uh, the 10 year of which hit a new record low, widening its spread with the three month uh, yield to minus 20 basis points. Remember that yesterday that uh, spread was minus 15 basis points, now it's minus 20. The US Treasury yield, as you can see here, inverted even further which uh, is a sign of uh, that investors are, um, are afraid of a possible recession in, uh, in the US. Now what's more, although Fed Vice Chair Richard Clarida and Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan noted yesterday that current rates remain appropriate, investors remained unconvinced and they are still pricing in more than two quarter point reductions by the end of the year. They are now more than fully pricing in one uh, rate cut for June. You can see this is uh, June here. Almost pricing in one for May, but given that we don't have uh, an FOMC meeting in May, I will say that we are, uh, investors are more than fully pricing in a first rate decrease in June. The second one came forth from November to September. So this means that investors have increased bets with regards to additional rate cuts by the Fed uh, this year. Uh, Clarita also repeated Powell's words that policy is not in a preset course and that the Fed will proceed meeting by meeting, which gives market participants the right to believe that if the virus keeps spreading at a fast pace, the Fed will eventually be forced to act. Now, in our view, the dollar may continue drifting south uh, for a while more due to increasing expectations of uh, Fed cuts, but we prefer to exploit such weakness against the safe haven Swiss franc. We are still reluctant to trust the yen, as fresh fears over the course of the Japanese economy could once again make it forget its uh, safe haven status. Now, against the Aussie and the Kiwi, though, we still expect the greenback to be the winner, as the risk-linked currencies are likely to suffer more on further spreading of the virus as the Australian and New Zealand economies are, are largely reliant on the Chinese one. Now, as for today's events, the calendar is uh, very light today with the only releases worth, worth mentioning being the new home sales for January and the Energy Information Administration weekly report on crude oil inventories for last week. With regards to the U.S. new home sales, the forecast has changed uh, since Monday and now suggests a 3.5% month-over-month increase after a 0.4% slide in, uh, in December. As for the Energy Information Ad Administration report, expectations are for a 2,467 million barrel, barrels increase after a uh, 0.4%. 414 million barrels inventory built uh, the week before. That said, bearing in mind that the American Petroleum Institute report revealed a, a 1.300 million uh, barrels increase, we see the risks of uh, the Energy Information Administration forecast as tilted somewhat to the downside. Now, as for tonight, during the Asian morning Thursday, we get uh, New Zealand's trade balance for January and the nation's ANZ Business Confidence Index, Business Confidence Index for the same month. No forecast is available with regards to the trade data, but the ANZ Business Confidence Index is forecast to have risen but to have stayed within the negative territory. Specifically, it is expected to have increased to minus 7.9 from minus 13.2. Uh, 
However, bearing in mind that the coronavirus was yet to spread to the extent it did this month, we prefer to wait for the February data in order to get an idea uh, whether businesses in New Zealand have felt the heat of uh, the virus's effects. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope you have a great day and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock uh, a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye everyone and have a great day. JFT, just fair and direct.